Where you from, Lou? Uh, I'm Jake. I'm Jake. Did you hear that? Where you from, Lou? Where you from, Lou? I mean, people, imagine meeting your childhood hero for the first time and they call you your brother's name. We don't even fucking look alike. And ever since that day, <laughs> ever since that day, Mike, <laughs> I've wanted to knock you the fuck out. Today we're diving into the mega fight everyone's talking about. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. In the contract, big boy. Come on, sign the contract. No problem. Saturday, July 20th. See you there, buddy. This insane matchup has ignited a firestorm of controversy with many questioning the possible outcome of the fight. A young YouTuber is taking on a boxing legend, but with all the hype, there's also a big question. Will it be legit? While it's new and exciting, there's a worry that the outcome might be rigged. In this video, we will be exploring the fighter's background, finances and age factors to assess the legitimacy of the fight. But before we get into the main topic of the day, did you know Logan Paul, Jake's brother, claims he was first offered the fight but turned it down? For both Mike and Jake, the bag. Like at what, at what point, you can't, I don't know if you can say no. I said no to fighting Mike Tyson. I'd say no. I was, I was offered it. And you guys I, offered it? Yeah, I was offered it, but not on Netflix and not for a big ass bag. Jake denies this saying their company brought the deal to Tyson. One thing you guys might have noticed, Jake Paul often chooses opponents who may not be the best active fighters but are sure to attract attention and money. His upcoming fight slated for July 20 and to be aired on Netflix will be held against former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. Despite initial skepticism due to Tyson being 58 years old at the time of the fight, some speculate that Paul at 27 and in top physical condition might hold his own against the legendary boxer. However, many fans are already questioning the legitimacy of the fight, suggesting it might be rigged or to favor of Paul. So before we get into the speculations, let's break down the comparisons. First, we have to talk about this guy's career. Iron Mike Tyson, the youngest heavyweight champion in history. Tyson's ferocious in-ring presence and devastating knockout power solidified him as one of the greatest boxers of all time. Jake Paul, on the other hand, boasts an incredible record of 9-1 with his only loss against Tommy Fury in a fight that went to a split decision. One thing to keep in mind is that his opponents generally had considerably less experience. There's no denying the massive financial incentive for both parties. The fight is projected to generate staggering pay-per-view sales with reports suggesting that Tyson could earn upwards of 30 million US dollars. This windfall could be his ultimate retirement package, a chance to secure his financial future after years of lavish spending. For Paul, the fight represents massive pay as well as global recognition that could solidify his boxing career. But here's where things get interesting. Tyson 58, way past his prime and Jake at his peak at the age of 27. This age gap has some folks worried that the fight might be rigged. How? Maybe with softer gloves to protect Tyson or even bias judging. Or even maybe throwing a big bag of money towards Tyson to deliberately lose, securing a lifetime of bliss. Regardless of the outcome, it's a win-win situation for Mike Tyson. Winning would underscore his enduring lion-heartedness capable of tearing through opponents while losing would cement his financial stability, ensuring lifelong comfort and fortune. Many of the Reddit users were almost certain that the fight was a money grab for Tyson and boost Jake Paul as a professional boxer. More particularly, there was a Reddit thread created on Thoughts on Mike Tyson vs Jake Paul fight. Look, nobody wants a fake fight. We all love boxing for the skill, the heart and the true test of the fighters. So what can we do? Transparency is key. Releasing all the fight details, the rules, the judging, everything, that's how we shot down the rigging rumors. However, we can never assure you what goes under the table or behind the screens. Day one of training. Say, you really thought I was partying? We out here, high altitude, Colorado Springs, with the Olympia Team USA Boxing. Let's get it. Let's go. But what we can hope for is a fair and square fight with both parties fixed on knocking each other out. Will this be a glorious comeback for Tyson, etching his name in the history books again? Or is it all a hype, spectacle designed to break the internet? Time will tell, but one thing's guaranteed, being streamed on Netflix, which is looking to expand into a live sporting events, this bout is expected to draw high viewership. This is definitely the, the toughest, most savage, lethal opponent, regardless of age. Just remember, underestimating Iron Mike Tyson because of his age would be a colossal mistake. Let me know in the comments below what you are hoping for, is this a dream matchup or a recipe for disaster?